My name is Gloria Catino. I'm 60 years old. I have 10 grandchildren. I have uh, three boys and a girl. And um, I was um, 16 when I, my mom died. And after that, my father. And then I have to raise my two brothers and sisters. My two brothers and one sister. I raised my, um, my first son by myself with my brothers and my sisters. And then after 15 years, I had another one. Second one, he's a police officer, full of a police officer. I have one that's a coast-to-coast -coast, um, long distance truck driver. I've campaigned, um, I've worked on the campaigns. I volunteer, um, you know, to do whatever I can to help. Because I think it's an important part, you know, that we all do something to help. I really like to cast my opinion, you know, to make the difference or to, to get a change. I mean, to have something work for all of us. And I think that's why voting is important. <laughs> and now I found that I can't vote anymore because I don't have a photo ID, which I can't get because I don't have a birth certificate, which it was never issued to me when I was born. So it makes it kind of difficult for me to vote for the person I think that should be in office. I think it's crap. We all should have the freedoms to do, you know, to vote, to do the freedom of speech, you know, do what we want. And to limit my, um, my ability to get a um, photo ID to vote is not right. I don't think it's right. I want to make a difference. I want this law to stop. And I want to be there to help if I can. It doesn't make any difference if you can uh, prove, I mean, I mean, to have a photo ID or not. We've been doing it for ever since the beginning of time. Why is there a big problem now? Why can't I vote anymore? Why, why now?